When we think of the Irish in America, the story goes something like this. For many centuries, the Irish have been coming to America. In the 6th century, St. Brendan, the navigator, set sail for the island of paradise and instead landed somewhere in Newfoundland. Since everything in those days was written down in Latin or Greek and Facebook and Twitter had not been invented, no one found out about this till much later. In the mid-19th century, as a result of the Great Hunger, hundreds and thousands of Irish Catholic peasants took the coffin ships to America. Wait a minute, we have to back up a bit. To just before the American Revolution, the Protestant Scots-Irish made America their home. These were tough frontiersmen and farmers that helped create the United States of America. So back to the 1840s, this was the time of the Industrial Revolution where cities grew rapidly. Wave after wave of Irish immigrants came to seek a better life, among them the Irish. In the 1920s and 1950s, subsequent waves came from Ireland to escape the recurring recessions and economic hardship in Ireland. In the 20th century, the Irish became very well established in America. The story of the New York Irish Centre truly begins in the 1980s, when once again, bad times hit Ireland hard. This time though, things were a little different. It had been 30 years since the previous great wave of Irish in the 1950s. Unfortunately, because of their undocumented status, the Irish of the 1980s couldn't legally work. This was a new era of no Irish need apply. The 80s Irish felt disconnected, but luckily, older, established members of the community pitched in, and advice centres offering basic immigration services sprang up. With that came emigration reform and green cards, and by the early 90s, the 80s Irish were back on track, writing their own chapter in the story of Irish diaspora. As the 1980s came to an end, and the wave of Irish immigrants showed no signs of slowing, the Catholic Church in Ireland began to hear the call of communities in New York and elsewhere for a spiritual shepherd, one that understood the changing Ireland of the time. They sent out Belfast native Father Colum Campbell to tend to this flock. For 10 years or more, Father Colum wandered the great city of New York, comforting the lonely, the sad and the sick, seeking assistance for the needy, blessing unions, baptizing babies and burying the deceased. In his travels, he became a trusted confessor to princes and paupers and all between. In that time, an idea began to grow in Father Colum's mind. The Irish in New York needed a place to gather, a place to truly call their own, a true community center. It was his good friend, cabin man, Paddy Riley, that advised Colum to secure a property rather than simply to rent. In stepped several business leaders from the community, all friends of Father Colum, and a building in a great location was purchased in 2003. The New York Irish Center was born. At first, the building was in bad shape, Volunteers, many of them seniors, with skills and trades to offer, came out of the woodwork to help Father Colum with his vision for an Irish centre. And with the generosity of the Irish building contractors, the building was turned into the welcoming space it is today. Its doors officially opened in 2005. So what is the New York Irish Centre all about? It's about being together, the mixing of generations, keeping the Irish culture alive and vibrant, helping people who want to help, keeping the community strong and making it stronger. At the New York Irish Centre, we feel the sky is the limit. We invite you to come and be with us, help shape our future, make us stronger. We haven't inherited our culture and identity from our ancestors. We've borrowed it from our children. Thank you.